Have you been extremely bored at the airport just waiting for your flight to leave? Or at the very least, for it to stop having so many delays? Bienvenidos nuevamente a todos a mi canal Spanish Blueprints. My name is Joshua, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how you can turn your airport experience into a Spanish learning experience. So why exactly should you learn Spanish at the airport? So the first reason is that you'll be able to increase your vocabulary in Spanish by a ton. And not only that, it's going to be very useful and applicable to your life. And you'll be able to have different conversations with Spanish speakers about these different experiences that you're having using this vocabulary. Of course, with language learning comes a lot of different interactions with native Spanish speakers in the form of conversations. Since airports have high traffic from all over the world, that just increases your probability of meeting a Spanish speaker at the airport. So that's only going to expose you to different accents within the Spanish language and also to different cultures within different countries in Latin America. And that's something that has happened to me various times. And I love being able to learn about different cultures and not just from like YouTube or something, but from the native speakers themselves. Let me know in the comment section below if you have ever tried having a conversation with a Spanish speaker while being at an airport. And also let me know what have been your methods for developing your airport vocabulary. Airports to me also are just like a, a hot spot for conversations because people are usually excited. They would like to tell you exactly Exactly, you know where they're going where they're vacationing at where they're from and for some people it's not as easy just to travel just every single week or every single month because of work and other things going on in their lives so to me it seems like people are really outgoing in the airport and are you know really willing to have conversations with you depending on how this conversation goes you can add them as a contact on your phone so you can be able to keep up that conversation going on to the future and then also, let's say if they're from Argentina, they're from Mexico or Peru or, you know, some country in Latin America, then you might be able to even uh, travel and meet them in the future as well. And all this is about developing that communication skill because, first of all, you have to get over that fear of taking that first step and saying hola or, you know, whatever phrase that you would like to use. Uh, to even get that ball rolling and then also continuing that conversation and depending on which airport that you're at you can have a lot of these different interactions with Spanish speakers also to put this in perspective the conversation does not have to be very long at all it doesn't have to be a 10 minute conversation it could literally be as short as let's say 15 to 20 seconds of you introducing yourself and you know asking them where are they from and this is exactly what happened to me this week. When I was at the airport, oh, I saw someone that looked kind of similar to one of my friends from the Dominican Republic. So I just went up to her and I asked her, Eres de la República Dominicana? And she's like, oh yeah. So we just spent about 30 seconds just introducing ourselves and talking about where we're from and where we were headed while we were waiting for our luggage to get through the machine. And depending on what airport that you're at, you might be able to have a ton of these uh, very short interactions with native Spanish speakers and you could be able to really develop your fluency and develop your, your questions and your answers to questions as well. Another reason why you should learn Spanish at the airport is because you're gonna be able to be a very useful tool for uh, Spanish speakers at the airport. Imagínate que tú estás en un país en Latinoamérica y no hablas mucho español y todas las señales están en español. So just imagine yourself in a country in Latinoamérica. You don't know that much Spanish at all and you're at an airport and most of the workers are speaking Spanish. The signs are in Spanish so you're completely lost. So you would need someone to help guide you, right? So that's how I like to think about it. If I'm at an airport and a Spanish speaker is having some difficulties or they're not able to understand something, then you would be able to help them with the, the vocabulary that you have and that you have studied and learned. That's something that you can do as well that's extremely useful uh, with this vocabulary. And not like you have to be perfect or anything, but at least giving them some sort of direction because you know how extremely complicated uh, being at the airport can be and going through the whole process, getting your boarding pass, your stuff scanned, and trying to find your gate. All that is extremely difficult, especially when you have different workers at the airport who are, you know, shouting different things at you, go this way, go that way. Now, what would be the best strategy for you to be able to develop this vocabulary in Spanish at the airport? I'll take a little bit of self-reflection because the, the best method for you might not be the best method for me. So that's why I like to promote a lot of self-reflection and trying to figure out uh, what are the different strategies that be best for you. And I do have some videos that tackle this issue of figuring out what is your best learning style. And you can find those in the description box of this video below. Pero no te preocupes, but don't worry. I'm gonna give you a few ideas of what you can do. 
So the next time that you're at the airport, this is what I want you to do. I want you to sit down. I want you to look around and think about all of the items that you're looking at and figure out which ones that you don't know. And then what I want you to do next is imagine that you're putting sticky notes on everything within the airport. So that could be on your backpack, that could be on your suitcase, that could be on a particular sign that says gate or baggage claim. And basically your goal for that is to make sure that you're always looking for different words that are unfamiliar to you or that you don't know how to explain yet. And then what you can do with this unfamiliar vocab from these sticky notes is just write them down on a notebook or you can create flashcards and then study them while you're at the airport. Or if you like using digital resources, you can use Microsoft Word or you can use uh, an online flashcard creator like Anki. One thing I love about the airport vocabulary is that it is very challenging in the sense that there is a large quantity. So there is a lot to learn, I would say, about the, the technical aspects of you know, getting a flight and the different directions that a worker might be giving you. And then also gain vocabulary while you're actually in the, the airplane as well. Because there's a decent amount of vocabulary that you learn while sitting in the airplane itself. Like, do you know what the word airplane means in Spanish? Or do you know what pilot means? Or do you know what uh, a seat means or seat buckle? So on and so forth. So it's definitely a fun challenge. I definitely don't have everything memorized yet. I'm still going through the process of learning a lot of the vocabulary at the airport as well because there's just so much to consume. And another piece of advice to be able to gain more of this vocabulary is to go onto a particular website of an airliner and then you're going to translate that webpage to Spanish because this is when it gets very technical because now you're just not learning like single words but you're gonna be learning uh, a lot of different directions. You know, how to cancel a flight or how to modify your reservation, you know, what gate that you're gonna to have to go to, directions to the airport, uh, the different fees that are gonna be involved with your airplane ticket and things like that. There's just a lot that you can learn. Another really cool thing about learning Spanish at the airport is that you're actually gonna be getting a lot of natural space repetition. So if you imagine yourself walking through an airport, you're gonna be seeing a lot of the same items, right? So you're gonna be translating in your head and seeing these different items, whether it's like a seat or whether it's a particular gate or if it is a pilot or something like that. And you're seeing them all the time. So you're gonna be able to reproduce that in your head. You know, what is that word? El piloto. Uh, pilot in Spanish. So it's gonna be a very good way for you to get this vocabulary stuck in your head. Finally, the last way that you can learn Spanish at the airport is by having that direct communication with native Spanish speakers themselves. So whether that is, you know, working on your translation and actually helping someone, you know, be able to figure out uh, their flight cancellation or be able to, you know, help them get in communication with someone at the airport if they have any issues because it opens the door for you to have a lot more opportunities to talk about your experiences at the airport or their experiences as well. Because I remember uh, my experience of me being completely lost in a conversation because someone is talking about all the different issues that they had at an airport, you know, what they had to do, the different people that they had to talk to, and I was super confused. So that was a really good way for me to be able to kind of uh, solve that uh, communication uh, issue there and ask them a whole bunch of questions, ask them to repeat themselves, ask them to explain certain words that they're using, just trying to re-clarify, you know, what exactly happened to them, you know, was it a, a flight cancellation or, you know, whatever the case may be. Now let's increase the level a little bit and imagine that you're actually at an airport within a, a country in Latin America. So now you're going to be seeing a lot more Spanish and you won't have to actually translate from English to Spanish and then you can go around that airport and just really soak up all the different vocabulary that you're seeing, look at the different signs and just trying to figure out, you know, what exactly is going on and also be listening to the different workers at the airport and then also really increasing your listening comprehension as well and trying to figure out what are the different workers at the airport saying, who are they directing and what are they trying to get uh, you know, that's this particular crowd to do. And the same methods apply here, except for this time you just had a little less work. So you can just be writing down exactly the words that you're, the Spanish words that you're seeing um, on different signs, saying them out loud and trying to figure out, you know, what exactly that they mean. 
All right, that's all I have for today. Thank you all for watching. I really hope that this video is very beneficial to you and that you feel a lot more confident about striking up a conversation at an airport with a native Spanish speaker. And then as well, just being able to uh, have that confidence that you can develop this type of vocabulary. Although it can be uh, very challenging at times just because of the quantity and the complexities of an airport. Te veo en el próximo video. Hasta luego.